shadow, do we? Hi there. Who's out there today? Good morning. I'm Dan. And I'm Susie. And together, together we're, we're a doozy. doozy. And we're going live with a webinar. Uh, we are just learning how to use this program. So uh, please bear with us and let's <laughs> have a lot of fun as we do our first webinar on AIM for Zoe. So good morning. This is, we are at home. We are in our kitchen and this has been Grand Central Station for creating the course. And I don't know if you see up on the wall, but Hi, this, you. How are you today? this is the whole um, space where we have put posted notes and papers on the wall. And we had our table full of things. And this is where the course creation, well, the dreaming of it happened on our 100 Days to Live, right. I do believe. Hi, Mark. Welcome. Oh, we've got Mark and Rasmus. Yeah, nice to see you guys. So it happened on our 100 Days to Live launch as we were hiking and traveling and God was just infusing into us. And then we landed here in um, the end of November, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, when we finally moved home and we landed here and this is where we began laying it out and putting every detail together. And we are just so excited that the course is, has launched and the filming is complete for the entire course and we are still working and some of the worksheets and the pages for uh, modules three, four, and five. Everything for module two is also done. So very exciting. Hey, Mark and Rasmus and a few others that are on, um, I'd just like to ask you, have you been able to complete the whole course yet? Or are you somewhere in the middle? If you would just type things away. Spelling doesn't matter because I, I don't, I, <laughs> just the general idea will, will get me to know where you're at this morning or wh whatever time it is for you. Yeah, so thank you, Mark and Rasmus, for signing in. If you are here online with us, we can see if you just give us a little note and say hi or some kind of a message. And from time to time, Susie's going to be looking over there on another computer as people have questions. She'll be picking them up because I know uh, David Taylor and a few other are trying to get on right now. So um, Rasmus, I see that you're about at 80% through the course. That's great. Bravo. Good job. Would love to hear from you as well. Some of your responses or your questions or your comments or even emotional outbursts. Hi, Katie. Module one, you finished it. Bravo Ooh. to you. That's great. We got a few more people coming on. That's that's great. We don't know how long this will be uh, this morning, how long we'll take. It's really just experimenting to see how this works to interact uh, directly with you, uh, typing and responding. Uh, if you have a question, uh, put it on the side and you can mark the side. Hi, David. Welcome in. David, you side, made it. Because if it's a question, it'll be a different color that pops up and we can see that very close closely and we can we can move right to that. Yeah, so um, we also have the option for you to speak. If you would like to, if you have something to say, then we can turn you on and we can all hear you. Can you hear, can you hear okay? Because I don't hear anything. There's nothing being said at the moment. Oh, that's why us. I hear nothing, okay. So just to let you know, if you can hear us okay and the volume is good, just give a little thumb up or a yes as we get launched in here that you'll be able to. I would hate to try to do a, a webinar and no one hear us. So <laughs> if you can see us and hear us okay, just give a, a yes if something needs to happen. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Rasmus. Yes. Great. Uh, for those of you who are not able to make it live, we have two other times today, and you'll be able to see that when you register. If you weren't able to make it at all, this will be this or one of our other webinars, live webinars will be on. We will just put that on our course, so you might be watching this inside the course. Yes. So if you can't get to this, you're probably not hearing what she just said, but it will be inside the course. Yep. So I wanted to start off by looking at the mission statement. 
as we move through, every single module will have a mission statement. And I'd love to look at uh, the mission statement that we have had for this last week. Uh, I'm going to go live here with it. We'll be down in the corner there. Hi. There it go. Hey, it worked. It did work. <laughs> Exciting. So this is the mission statement that we were looking at this whole week. Um, my mind goes to the 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 TV show Mission Impossible. Dun 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 da 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 dun 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 da da dun. And it always started with my mission or your mission should you choose to do. But it's been a really important concept for both Susie and I to to live fully alive. Yes. That that Jesus came that we may have life and have it to the full. And so this first module was based on the whole idea that we are to live fully alive. And the reason is that we would love my life, my world, and my God. And there's been a few questions of what do you mean by that? Uh, and I just wanted to answer a few of those before we, we jump into some of your questions. Uh, one more thing as well. So that was my mission sta statement, should I choose to accept it, like Dan said, is to live fully alive, my life fully alive, love my world, my life, and my God. And then we also had uh, what we called our future self. future self. And what that future self is, just to clarify, many have asked about that. What is that? And so this is like a imagination, a statement of faith. This is um, a, a mantra or a mantra, however you want to call it. It is something that you repeatedly remind yourself, like as I'm memorizing verses, I remind myself of biblical truths. And I think this is one biblical truth we can remind ourselves of, of the future self. I am showing up alive and fully alive. I have come that you may have Zoe life. Jesus said in John 10, 10, this is the basis of our entire course, John 10, 10. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. And when we're filled with Jesus and we're overflowing with Jesus, then our future self can say that as well, or our present self, what we're growing into, into the future as well is that we come into places and spaces and we say, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. So that's that's what that's what we like to do. Um, we like to say, ta-da, here I am full of Jesus and I have come that you may have life in the way that God has uniquely wired me to do that. So Mark keeps saying to us, just show up, but we want to take this Mark. one step forward that isn't just show up, but show up and say, I have come that you may have life. That's what Jesus did. So, and then we just wanted to show you one more, some action steps that hopefully you're taking this week is what area can I invest more into in order to live fully alive? So that has, that has to do with um, me investing in myself and allowing myself to have the right rhythms, which is module two. We're going into that coming Sunday, um, and that will help you a little bit more. And the second question, what part of this aim for Zoe module one gave me new awareness in my life? So we'd love to hear from you now. We just wanted to show you those three pictures from the course to remind us what area can I invest more in in order to live more fully alive and what part of this aim for Zoe module gave me awareness in my life. And I just want you to know that we are not teaching this as the experts. We are fellow journeyers. We, every day we're looking at how do we do this better. So we're back to you and back to the chat. Okay. Is there anybody who wants to put your hand up and say, I'd love to speak? Any speak requests? We could, we could I'm not that. quite sure how speak requests work, but Supposedly, you just say you want to speak and we can put you on and we'd love to hear from you. And the chat is where? Up there. Yep. There we go. No speak request. Oh, we got a speak request. Yes. Okay. We good. got a hand up in the corner. Mark. Mark Knight. All right. We accept. Go ahead, Mark. Do you have your microphone on? David, are you there too? It appears that you can only speak if you are on a computer. We read something about that. Let's see how that works. And David Taylor, 
we are accepting your request to speak as well. So go ahead, either of you. You may be speaking and we may not be hearing. Okay. Katie, anything you want to say? I see you in here as well. I don't know if we are having some technical difficulties or... While we're working that out, I want to also drop on a poll because we're trying to... Um, Mark has joined the room, it says. Mark, can you hear us? Can you speak? Mark is there. Let me hit that one. Grand admin. All right, Mark, you want to speak to us? We see that you're in the chat, so go for it. Uh, that's not working. Well, you've been doing that. Okay, there. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, yes. Hear you now. There, there you go. He is. Oh, hi, Mark. Good, hi, Mark. Good morning for us and good, good afternoon morning. for you. Yeah, good. Sorry, it had to uh, download lots of things. Okay. No, I, uh, I just wanted to uh, say I love this and I thank you so much. I didn't really have a question more. I'm very encouraged and I like your wheel. Um, I think uh, I, I the, need- This is the life wheel resource? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us because about it, it. Well, I have, I think spiritual, physical, emotional, I certainly have some goals this year. I, I was a bit disappointed I did very, very well at the start of last year. And then because like you, you get a few curveballs thrown at you and it can throw you off. And this year, although I'm praying that there aren't any curveballs, I want to be able to handle those curveballs better and actually to my goals. Um, so that's why I thought, let me sign up and be fully alive Amen. and turn Woo! alive. <laughs> Amen. And thank you also for sharing it on, on your space there, and people can also join. The, the thing I love about the wheel is there were some people that um, when they saw the wheel, they they didn't even do the course. They just did the wheel. They, they spent the rest purple. of the evening, um, the two of them going through together, doing the wheel together. So we love responses like that of how it's hitting you. Is everyone getting a back feed right now? Is it loud on everyone or just in my ear? I think just you. Just me. That's good. So, Mark, can you share any of the goals? Are you willing to share any of the goals? That yeah, you yeah. I mean, so um, my physical goals, I want to get eight to 85 kilos. I was down, I got all the way down from 117 to 97. Can you believe it? And just with health issues now, I'm back up to almost 108. So my goal is to hit the 85. So I started yesterday already, uh, just uh, back on, Susie, like you said, diet is key. I have a gym that is awesome. It's 24 seven. So I only sleep about five hours. So I go up 4.35 in the morning. I've been doing that for a couple of weeks already. And, um, so my goal is to hit the gym at least four times a week. I've actually just come in from loading 400 pieces of log, which is great. So That's great. And virtually, I'm really, um, I, I want to keep moving forward. I've told Dan and Susie, I, uh, I'm working through Ephesians this year. Normally I read through the Bible in a year. This year I'm in Ephesians and um, Martin Lloyd-Jones has 234 messages about 50 minutes each and i'm up to about 85 of them and i just want to keep moving forward on that and that is one awesome book to know who you are in christ and just to yep. look who you are in christ and then that's part of being fully alive and when you turn up with that stuff in you that's pretty you're you're, you're pretty uh explosive magnetic dynamite whatever you want to call it you <laughs> will uh make a difference thanks mark yeah, that's good. Thank you for sharing that physical goal. I also have a physical goal. One thing, Mark, you need to shut yours down a little bit because when Susie talks, we get some real feedback. I think. Okay. Yeah, David said we do have some feedback. 
I also have a physical goal I'm trying to exercise. I did wake up this morning, didn't have too much time because we were getting ready for this, but I already did my um, basic first set of exercises for the day and you get your blood flowing and yeah, that's a really good piece of it. Yeah. What, what you put in and what you burn out as far as toxins, very important. And also sleep. Yeah. And it looks like David, are you, are you there? Do you want to come on too? Thank you, Mark, Thanks, Mark, so much. Anything else you want to share before we, we turn it over to David for a few minutes? No, just thanks, guys. This is awesome. I, I'm interested to see who the other four or five, if they could introduce themselves. That'd be lovely to know who's here. That's great. That is great. While we're trying to get David on, why don't we just say a little bit about each person that's on? That would be great. Bless you, Mark. Thank you so much. David, I think we see your hand up there. Let's put you on, David. And while we're getting David on, anyone want to say anything about yourself? Who are you? Where you're from? That would be great. Yeah. It takes a couple a couple moments for us to, to put it on. We are learning the system. This is our first live go of our live webinar. And we practiced yesterday. It looks like David has joined the room. David, thank you for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. You are on when you're ready to be on. Rasmus is the father of four kids. I think I've met three of them. I think you've had one <laughs> since I was at your house. Oh, Rasmus, we have to have an updated photo, please. So Rasmus is from Denmark, and he's working Youth for Christ. He's also a very good magician. Yes, and I see, I see that um, while we're waiting for David to get on, I see Katie is on. And Katie says, Mark needs to use headphones. Okay, that might make a difference in the feedback. Katie, thank you for your response. You said, I really appreciated the specific examples of the things you guys shared as action steps. Um, thank you, thank you for sharing that. Um, yes, we learned from examples and so we tried in many cases when we gave you something to do that we would do it ourselves. David, we see you there. Yay! Hey, guys. Great to see you guys. Love the course so far. Tell us about what you love about the course. Uh, it's just, I mean, I'm naturally quite a reflective person anyway. Uh, I think I believe that the inner battles and inner reflections come before the public ones. Um, so taking the time to um, understand what your long-term goals and your short-term goals are, what's going on with your life and what's going to bring you life to the full is really important in order to springboard into the future. That's good. We call David our research genius. And when we figure out how the whole system will work, David will be our moderator for future webinar jams. Do you, do you accept the mission, David? Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm looking forward to getting properly plugged in. Yeah, that's yeah. great. David, you said short-term and long-term goals. Uh, I know that last year you had a goal of reading and researching. Um, mm -hmm. Can you just tell us a little bit about what your 2019 looked like, how many books you read? I don't know if you know how many podcasts you listened to, how many articles <laughs> you read, but we'd just love to hear about your 2019 first, and if you don't okay. mind, into your 2020. What are, what are you looking towards? Mm. Yeah, so... I mean, I have no idea how many books I read last year. Uh, I didn't keep a track, actually, but uh, some of the, the great books I read, uh, I loved the, a book by William Bridges on transition. And transition was such a big part of my last year. Uh, I journal every day. And um, one of the things that I recognized looking back was just how many transitions I went through. And so managing that and understanding that, uh, it was a really big... Um, part of last year, actually. So, uh, yeah, that was one of the books I really enjoyed uh, by William Bridges, all of that transition. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Great. And, and do you have your word? Every year, David has a word for the year. Do you have, you have your word for the year this year? So, so last year, I had the word belief. Uh, and this year, I think my word is courage. Courage. Um, nice. And if it was, if it was a sentence, it would be courage over fear. Nice. Courage, Courage over, over fear. fear. Yeah. David's really helped us to pull together a word every year. This year we have two words. 
It's courageous imagination. Can you unpack that a little bit? Well, we're moving into areas like this that we've never done before. Last night when we were working to learn this program, it was very scary. And, and that <laughs> word came back. It's time to be courageous and to think beyond where we've ever gone before. And so those are our two words for the year. And they're, they're like, it's the call out to us. I think, David, you talked to, uh, to us on the ship about that is, is a word that sort of draws you out. And, and those would be our words for this year. Yeah. Good. We've got Katie. I just I want to say one more thing on that, if you don't mind, if I just um, add to it. So courageous imagination. We were praying coming into the new year as far as our word. Um, we are praying. What is. Oh, Dan snapping a photo. I am. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> um, we were praying like, what is our word? Because in 2019 and our our theme was blessed to thrive. And we didn't just want to survive, but we wanted to thrive and have this. It was the beginning of this fully alive theme that God is just burning in our hearts. And so we, we wanted to come with the blessing and being grateful and having gratitude for um, what God was giving us and allowing us to thrive. So as we were praying about our word or our phrase for this year, 2020, uh, we went to our church once we landed back here in Georgia, and there was a message by um, pastor our Mark. pastor, Pastor Mark. Thank you, Pastor Mark. And it was on being courageous from the life of Caleb. And mm. uh, Ka Joshua and Caleb were two of the 12 spies who went into the promised land, and Joshua and Caleb were the only two that came back with a good report. The rest were like, no, no, no. But Caleb and Joshua uh, really had imagination, faith, to believe that what could be, like we can, we have the power of God working in our life. And that really, that word courage, David's taken that word courage as well, very powerful because mm -hmm. it, was, it was courageous. And also at the same time, my parents, Tim and Joni Thomas, were stopping by on their way heading south to Florida, and they gave us a book about imagination, and it was about um, having faith to believe. If you don't have imagination, you can't have faith, and they go together, and it really threw us back to go, wow, you know what? All the people in the Bible who did great things for God had imagined far beyond what they could do. Yeah. And so we're, we were jumping into the whole imagination. Yeah. Side. And the verse that's been very powerful to me for a long time is Ephesians 3.20. Um, um, he wants to do, God wants to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that's at work within us. So all of these concepts go together to be courageous because God's power is within us and to have imagination and faith to believe for the new things. Yeah. And I think this new season for us going online and the whole course is a huge jump. It is a huge leap. And but there's no plan B. So we're no in, plan B. We're in fully alive. Woo! <laughs> Isn't it exciting? It is exciting. <laughs> yeah. Good. I just wanted to jump over to Katie. Are you it looks like you're in France now? Is that true? I'll come back to you, David. Stay, stay here. Oh, yes, yeah, stay here, David. Katie, are you able to speak to us, or if you have a if you have a computer, it seems to be okay. But on phones, they don't have the technology to connect up with the system. While we're waiting for Katie's response, oh, there she is. Yes, you're in France. Got married two months ago. Congratulations, Katie. Congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, Thank you for joining us this morning or great. this afternoon for you in France. Yeah. Hey, I do have a question. Uh, we haven't had many questions written down, but there's a way of for you to write a question and then to mark it so it pops up for us. Will someone just write a question down and then go to the side? I want to see how this actually works. You're sort of helping, helping us test it this morning. So on, on our screen, there's two, two possibilities on the bottom. One says to everybody, and that's the chat. And then on the right side, there's a chat and three dots. Wow. And Katie, you click that. Yep, Katie's got it. Yes, that is a question, Katie. She's got it. So you can send as a chat or send 
um, or you can send as a question and she's got that red question up and then we can have an answer to that question. So yes, Katie, that is a question. Well done, you found it. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions anytime, you can just um, type that in and then we can see that it's a question and try to respond to that question. Mark has an answer. It and then says. I can I can put. It's an Q &A. answer. That's good. Yeah, Q and A. Yeah. So the red dot for us is Q, and the, and the green dot is an A. Will my face shine if I am fully alive? Mark asks. I I will get this one. <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> Will your face shine? All right, so I do that, and I mark it as an answer. Beautiful. It, it already, already shines. shines. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I read in a devotional last night. I really love this. Um, it was just, it kind of goes with this. Um, what Mark's answer, asking about Jesus and shining. So here's, it's a joke. I'm not very good at jokes, so just bear with me. But the story goes that there was a little boy in a Sunday school and the teacher was asking him, do you want Jesus in your, in your life? And the little boy said, oh no, he won't fit in there. And, and so I love kids because they have creative imagination, right? And it ended up that he, he said, oh, okay, well then I can have Jesus, but because I'm so small and Jesus is so big, that when Jesus is in me, he's just going to overflow out. And I love that concept, especially when we're thinking about being fully alive. Will your face shine, Mark? Yes, because Jesus is so big, you can't contain him within you. Don't you love that? I do. Okay, I'm just enjoying it myself. I will. There's another part of the uh, <laughs> webinar that we're able to do. I'm going to go to it now. It's a poll. Every time we do a webinar, we can we can take polls. So I just wanted to, to give this a try. The question is, how long did it take you to complete the module? So as we go through here, if you would um, like to write in that. Uh, this is a few questions. Yeah. How long did it take you to complete says, module one? An hour and a half. About 30 minutes, or if it's under 30 minutes, you can also do the 30 minutes, about, about an hour and over 1.5 hours. Yeah. Yep. So we estimated that it would take 30 to 60 minutes to go through the course. But I think if you do all of the worksheets and all the breakouts, if you take time to journal, if you take time to process those things, um, it's up to you how long it takes. But we did plan on giving you more than you could use. Yeah. Uh, so that there are some people who like the facts, some people want to read, some people want to think, some people want to discuss. And so the, the plan is not you have to do everything. It's, it's all there for you. And so I. Yeah, take the parts that are good for you. Yeah. If, if you're not sure which parts to do, do all the ones that say M1.1, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.5, 1. I think it goes up to six. If you do those main modules, those are videos. And then it's up to you what else you do with that. Yeah. And then during the week after we do the module, uh, we will be adding things probably to the end of it because as we get responses from people, we, we want to add suggestions or thoughts or part two or part three or part four. Right. And you help us clarify and make it better. Yeah. So um, we have a couple people who said 33% of you so far said 30 minutes, 0% said one hour. And 67% said 1.5 hours or more than 1.5 hours. That's good. So thank you for that response. Did everybody get a chance to vote? Should I end the poll now? You can end the poll, sure. Back to our chat. So Back to our regularly scheduled chat. Rasmus, you asked a question. How, hmm. how do you do the who am I finding my identity? Oh, thank you. Um, Thank you. I, somebody else asked that question as well. So thank you, Rasmus, for asking that question. So that is the worksheet. It's a PDF. It has uh, 10 different spaces in it. And 
You can actually do it however you want, but this is how I would encourage you to do it. We left it very open. Hang on, I'm going to find my little notes here. The, the, the volume just changed because I just shut off David's microphone, so I'll turn that back on if we need to bring you back in here in a few minutes. Just let us know, David. Give us a signal. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yes, so that that who am I finding my identity? There's 10 areas or 12 areas um, where you can you can fill in those boxes. And the idea is that you each of us have a unique identity. Um, and these different areas, these 12 areas, number 12 is other, but these 12 areas uh, give a unique perspective or helps you identify what's unique about you. In some of the, the learnings that I've done, it, they, they call it your unique selling point or your, your unique you. Or um, in Andrew Scott's book and some of the other books, they call it your shape. Who are you? How are you formed? And how are you unique? And I like this list that I found and added to, but you have a personality. So in that box, you might want to fill out things about your personality. For example, I am an extrovert and I am a high influencer. I have lots of different strengths. And so I would put in there uh, some of the strengths that I have. I love people. I can talk to anybody. Um, I have a strength of positivity. I love to learn. So these are some of the things about me that contribute to me being unique. Uh, your attitude. What What is your attitude? Some people are half empty. Some are half full people. So your attitude um, dictates how you perceive life and actions of the people and, around you. And each of the boxes are really there for your self-awareness yeah. to begin thinking. So if you have specifically one that you don't know, we can we can work with that. But it's it's really to help you become more and more aware of who you are as a person so that you can live fully alive. Yeah, the next one is your experiences. What have you experienced in life that has allowed you to be shaped by who you are? For example, I met Dan, and when I met Dan, he made a huge difference in my life and continues Actually, to do so. not as soon as we met because then she forgot about <laughs> It was months after I chased her that I made a huge difference. I'm so glad he pursued me because that has made a huge difference in my life. And Just so to get the story straight. Yeah, experiences. Um, I I went to school at Oral Roberts University. That shaped my whole perspective, that experience. We just came off of two and a half, two and a half years ago. We went on the ship, uh, the Logos Hope, and that experience has shaped many of the ways I perceive life and view things. Your habits is the fourth one. We're going to talk about that in module two, habits or rhythms, or what's the difference between the two. But what are some of the habits that you have? That also has a shaping um, possibility, like Mark just talked about. Mark is going to the gym every morning. That habit is going to shape who he is and his perspective on life. Creativity, perspective, your taste, your goals. So that's going to be a you, big one. You can fill out the uh, the creativity one all day long because you are very very creative. Yes, just let super us think. Creative. Even your new ideas, your ideas about going online and selling things, all those things are part of who you are. Yep, your hobbies. I think the thing that's most important about that particular work worksheet, as I was processing through that, is that it's the mix of all of those. So no one one area. Um, well, some, some areas, of course, override others as more important or more impactful. But the combination of all those brought so much awareness to me. And that's why I thought that worksheet should be one that we throw in there for you. So thank you, Rasmus, for the question. We also have a question from Katie. Let's see right there. Have you considered having a community forum aspect to the course? I don't know if the course provider has an option to create forums or something, or it could be through a different platform. It would be really great to share ideas with people about applying what we're learning. Katie, that is a great idea. Thank you, Katie. Actually, as part of the the platform, um, the, learning platform the learning platform where the course is, there is a, a whole section on developing community, the community and social media. Everything can be run from there. 
it just costs another 30 some dollars per month to get that added on. We are going to go there. Yes. Um, we, we put out a lot of money for this first uh, course. And so we thought at this point we couldn't add that on. But yes, that is where we're going, that, that there can be uh, groups, immediately talk together times, yep. because we're finding around the world, no one's on the same chat. Everyone's all over the place and we want to develop those. So when we launch the second course, we will have that uh, definitely available. It's there. This is courageous imagination speaking. This is courageous imagination, but um, that is totally from the beginning. That's what we wanted to do. Yes. And that, that forum, that community will be called Fully Alive Revolution. And uh, people who are ready to, to together um, move 360 or 180 or whatever it is Ooh. together to live fully alive and encourage each other with that. Up, so up, up. that is coming. That's a great idea. Katie. And, and meanwhile, we have opened up a private Facebook group and it's called fully alive revolution. And, um, I, I think we have a link for it in one of the course pages. If you have any questions and you can't find it, let me know. There's about 40 people so far that are in the community. And so that's where our community is now. Now there's a number of people who are not on Facebook and they want to be a part of the community without being on Facebook. And that's why we want to, um, really launch into the next level of this thinkific platform. Great question, Katie. Yeah. And meanwhile, in each of the sections uh, of the course, there is on the top right, if you look at the top right, there's a little place where you can have discussion. So in any of the sections, at the moment, it's only section by section. So if you want to have a chat about any of those um, forums or any of those parts that, that you see there, you can go in there and, and leave a chat or leave a question and we're checking those every day. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Hope that answers your question. David, I was looking to see how to turn your microphone back on. Can you, can you do it from that side or do I have to, oh, here it is. There we go. I'm about right, to go. Yeah, I was gonna ask so, you, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna ask you a question. Go for it. So um, the, the Who Am I she and the life wheel they are they're brilliant for bringing new awareness what do you do it with that new awareness that helps you maybe if you're on the life wheel you're really low in an area and you want to be like a tech bridge that gap what should you do great oh i have an idea go for it yep so the life wheel, I'll, I'll address the life wheel if, if I was going to answer it, I'd say, why well, this friend David that could answer that question? But <laughs> We're uh, going to get your response in a minute, David, so be thinking of your answer. But my, my initial um, answer, the life wheel was very important to me when I was learning about coaching. And mm -hmm. my coach initially gave me that life wheel because the wheel, if you're going in a car and the wheel is round, you're going to have a smooth roll. But if you, if any of the areas are what we call flat or low position and not fully alive, then that would potentially be an area where you can make a goal. And one of the, one of the ways that my coach helped me do it, and I try to help this with people I'm coaching. Um, yes, if you have four areas, I think Mark, you said you had three or four areas on your wheel that you were making goals out of. But if you have a few areas, then from, from that wheel, if you've got a journal, then you can um, do your wheel. Okay, a little sketch here. So you can do your little wheel, and then you put little spokes out, for example. And from there, you, you try to identify just one, one area that could move you forward in each of those areas where your wheel, for example, is flat. Because if we have too many action steps, then it becomes overwhelming. And actually studies say two to three, or some of the studies say three to four action steps is probably the most maximum doable for a normal person. Um, people who are very motivated, self-driven, um, then they can have more goals. But uh, try to identify one, if you've identified one of your life wheel areas, for example, spiritual, 
that is not as fully alive as you would like it to be, then you can identify one step or one way that you can take steps uh, further to be more fully alive. And for example, if spiritual is your area, we're going to talk in the next module, module two, about our life rhythms. And we're going to give, we're going to actually identify four different areas that the life rhythms, you can begin to de develop those in. Yeah. So David, what about you? You want to give us a response on or that? Anyone else too? You can write it in or we can give sure. you a hand up in a bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's really good. Like you said, I mean, we I think it's really important to set big, long goals, um, but also then to take that two minute step. They say, can you do this two minutes every day? Um, sometimes, you know, we want to get fit. I want to go run. I'm going to run 10 kilometers every every day. It's not going to happen. But can you go and run for two minutes? Yeah, I can probably do that. And, and just to start real small and, and have some victories there. I think that's a really good step. Good. Yeah. Great. What about, what would you say, David, would you like to respond to the, um, who am I, my identity? What, how can people take what they found from that? And what, what can you say they could have some actionable steps? Because it's very true. If we only think about what we want to do, but we don't put action to it, then we're going to miss out on transformation in our life. James says, um, faith without works is dead and we really want to put some action steps that's why many of our coaching questions have to do with action steps what is one thing you can do to move forward yeah speak to us about that David yeah I mean I think this one maybe is a little bit more difficult because this isn't so specific because that's the, the thing it's your uniqueness threads through all of them doesn't it and so maybe maybe the, the action step from this is, oh, this used to be a hobby that I had, or this used to be something I liked, but actually I don't do it anymore. How can I marry that into the rest of my life? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyone else have any comments on that? Yeah. Love to have thoughts from everybody if we, if we can. Just watch it. Uh, one of one of the guys, Sir what was, Oliver. Sir Oliver from Africa, came to visit us on the ship, and he mm -hmm. helped us work through our strength finders. And one of the ways that he um, encouraged us to really um, press into our strengths and our uniqueness, like you just said, David, was uh, just to wake up in the morning and speak out Psalm 139, verse 14. So I have it on. I have it on a note on my phone here, and so I just hold it up because I love to do this often, but um, strength finders. I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God, and I know that full well. So God made me this way uniquely. Of course, experiences shake, it, shape us as well, but I know full well that I'm made by God. And my strength purpose statement, and this is gonna come in a future module, I believe it's module five, but my, my strength purpose statement, I put my top 10 strengths out, and this is what I say to remind myself who I uniquely am. I am a positive, adaptable, woo, which means winning others over, who develops and activates people. My high capacity for input as a learner results in communication of the individualization of myself and others which grows my gift to call out significance in others. I love people and I give the gift of presence. Now you may not have got all that, that's okay. She reads that very often for herself because, because that I takes know. her forward. I, I, I am reminded of my uniqueness and step into it. And, and the second step that Sir Oliver encouraged us to do is to do that in the morning, but in the evening say, how was I able to use my strengths? Or how was I able to use my uniqueness in, we can just add here in this space, to live my fully alive life? Right. Yeah. So I'd encourage you to do that. If you, if you don't have a rhythm or a pattern of doing that, when you think of it, speak out your strengths. Thank God for them. He made us this way. And then um, allow God to, to steward, allow us to steward the gifts that God has given us. Yeah. 
Well, we're just coming up on 45 minutes. I wanted to test out a couple more things in the program to let you know how they come across. But if there's any other questions before we finish up, we would love to answer those. The one thing that we can use, and I just wanted to experiment, is something called the whiteboard. So, David, I'm going to get rid of you for a second. Okay, we're not getting rid of you. Bye, David. And I am going I to... to I am going to turn on something called the whiteboard. And in the whiteboard, we actually are able to do some writing. So what Susie just did when she showed you that the thing on the paper, oh. she could have gone, made a circle. There's a wheel. And done the spokes out like this. So I just want to know if you write down, is this something you can see well? Is this something that, that comes across well? Uh, we, we haven't even played with it, but I saw it. We can write words on. So like if Susie's teaching something, um, there's a lot of things we can do on an active whiteboard. Let us know if you can see it, if it comes across good. Okay, Mark, it works well. Great. Because we also have an opportunity to like share our, our screen, to share our like different documents. Even even to, to share some videos, we'll end probably with one of the videos I made on Zoe. Yeah, but that's good if it's clear. Okay, right. so we'll we'll practice using that some more. Thank you very much for your, your response, Mark and David, and yeah, that's great. Yeah, and then we can definitely put up different things. I mean, we're just this program has a lot of possibility in it, and we want to use it to the full. Uh, to strengthen our fully alive community, to get feedback, uh, to put people on. It was good today to, to realize it probably needs some headphones and things like that. Those are areas that we didn't know about. Uh, the interesting thing is there is a 10 second delay in everything that goes on. So if I ask a question, uh, it's 10 seconds before you actually hear me ask it. And so there, there is a bit of a delay, but it, they've uh, the courses we've taken to how to use this is helping us to figure out how do we we say something and we look over and nothing happens that's because there's at least a 10 second wait so all these things we're getting used to yep yep that's great and i just really want to thank you for joining us here in our kitchen our grand central station for um, the creation of what's been going on and many of these little signs ended up um, if you're wondering the orange is my mission statement and the yellow is the main statement of the day. And we have our future self the down. The ones are the pictures that we had looked at. Yeah, so that um, target, that target for the um, aim for Zoe, that, that's what we thought was the best. Over on this one was our live talk. And aim for Zoe, land your rhythm. So as we were creating this, it all went up on the board. Originally, E was experience your passion. We Cross it out and went with embrace your passion. So this has been our war room as we have pulled together this whole Lots course. of prayers, lots of gelling of information. If you look down the hallway to the bathroom, there are papers all the way along <laughs> that wall. We can't show you that at the moment. Table but, as yeah. well. but this has been, and it's been great to live in the midst of all these ideas yeah. for, for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. So again, thank you so much for your involvement in, in taking the course. Uh, thank you, Katie. You like the creative space. Uh, we basically moved back home. We have not unpacked all of our things yet for a couple reasons. One of the reasons is we lived on a ship in a smaller room than our current kitchen. So we had so little space and we learned how to live with less things. And so all the things that we stored in the garage and in our offices, we don't need them. <laughs> we don't need. And so we're like, do we really want to unpack that? We really prefer to live more minimalistic. We're not very good at that. Today we we or work simply. As soon as we're done here, we'll have breakfast and then we'll work on Susie's office because today is the Susie office. Try to get everything out. There's even some couches. I, I prefer to, to call my studio. It's her studio. It's not her office. I do office work in it, but when I call it my studio, then I'm more fully alive because it's a very creative space for me. Very much so. Hey, we will let you watch a, a, a two minute video that I made in uh, Reno just about um, Zoe, and then we'll come back with some last remarks. So if you have any questions or comments or ways that we could improve this, because in about five hours from now, we do another one. <laughs> and you're welcome to come back for that. 
but we would love to have your comments on that. But we'll go. Hang on just a second before you show it. Why don't you just give the setup? This was part of our 100 Days to Live. Mm -hmm. And what were you thinking? What were, what were you processing when, when you were making this and many other fully alive Zoe videos? Well, I'm, I'm totally still into looking at the Bible every day on what is, what is this Zoe thing? Because it is, I don't know of anything in my whole life that has caught me as strongly as living fully alive. This is true. And I am just. I, I, I can't get enough. Every day I'm, I'm studying, especially through the New Testament, and now the Old Testament. The, the Hebrew word for Zoe is hey. And so I'm now studying things. <laughs> hey, sounds and like a Dutch word. It's remarkable how much God in the Old Testament, Jehovah, Jesus in the New Testament, the disciples talked about life. Yes. And even just yesterday I was I was pacing because – I think I grew up in a church situation where we talked a lot about death, death, and even even our evangelism was about what if you die tonight? What's going to happen? And I don't know why I grew up in a in a church or a situation, or maybe just me that was thinking of death all the time, because Jesus didn't talk that much about it. He talked about life, and so part of this idea we we were in. Uh, Reno, Nevada, a place with a lot of gambling and stuff. We'd stop there for a couple days uh, just to rest. And to see a magic show. And see the magic show, which was very good. Uh, but the the shock of life and death for me in that place was, was yeah. huge. And that's where this, this video came from. So we just want you to enjoy it. And we'll come back for a few wrap-up questions, comments, emotional outbursts. Here we go. Hi there, this is Dan of Doozy with another uh, Zoe moment. Uh, we're sitting here in a casino in Reno, Nevada. Not because I gamble, I've never gambled in my life. We're here looking at life and the way different people experience life. There's, there's a passage in John 12, 25, which says this, you heard it. It says, anyone who loves their life will lose it. Well, anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Now this sounds so different than the other uh, passages on life. It almost is saying, hate your life. But that's not what it's saying because one of those three lights is Zoe. The other two is a Greek word called suko. And suko means your breath or your mere existence. So let me read this verse actually the way it's, it should be read. Anyone who loves their mere life will lose it. And anyone who hates their mere life in this world will keep it for eternal Zoe. What it's talking about is it's not just about seeing what you can do in your life, see see what you can grow or develop or whatever. It's, it's about Zoe. And so what, what being said here by John is that don't just merely exist, live, thrive. Interesting. Yesterday in the, in the casino, we saw a man about ready to cash in his winnings, and he died. He just fell over and died right there. I see a lot of people here who are just merely existing for a lucky break. That's not what Jesus has. Followers of Jesus have something called Zoe, which is vitality, because our faith and trust is not in this, but in him. Well, this is another Zoe moment, and I hope you don't live to merely exist, but you thrive with eternal Zoe. Thank you, Dan. I don't know if you guys can notice the passion. <laughs> that passion, it chokes, chokes up. me up. The passion Dan has, he still has that. Yeah. Mm. David, thank you for your question. What is one thing you'll do to be fully alive today? Well, for me, it's it's getting Susie's studio ready to use because we, we keep, you, you have to go from the dining room, you know, there's the kitchen, and then there's her studio. And it's been basically a place of storage. Don't go there. It's a little scary at the moment. <laughs> and uh, I think for me today to to help her get fully alive by getting in her studio, that's what I'll do today. I think that's going to allow us to be fully alive. The other thing that I would like to add to that is yesterday we planned to go kayaking because it was the first day of the year. 
and we didn't because we had so much to do to get ready for today. All day. And so today, one of the things that we plan to do in between our afternoon and our evening webinar, uh, live webinar, is to go kayaking. So those are those are the two things we're going to work on. It's the only a big problem day. Was I was getting firewood yesterday, and I looked in the 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 kayak, and it's full of water. So I'm going to have to dump that out and scrub a little down here and scrub that out. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. What about you, Mark, David, and Katie? What is one thing you will do today to be fully alive? Would love to hear from you. Meanwhile, we'd also love to know, did that video and sound work okay for you? It, it came through clear to us, but I'm not sure if you were able to receive that okay. You are our soundboard, and you are the ones that, that can really help us. How do we make this better? Um, what do we need to think about? Yeah. Are we talking too fast? Are we talking too slow? Katie's going to write something, so she wants us to hang in there. Thank you, Katie. We'll wait. Mark is going to finish his wood pile. It gives me great pleasure looking at it at the end of the job. That's great. And Mark, when you're done, you can come over and do my wood pile because <laughs> uh, we haven't really uh, spent too much time on it. It's all over the place. So. Yeah, we have a few house jobs to do. Mark, send us a picture when you finish your wood pile, please. We'd love to see it. Creative writing. What kind of creative writing, Katie? I'm so curious. That'll be good. Okay, Mark. <laughs> awesome. David, what are you going to do to be fully alive today? I exercise this morning. That always helps me be to live fully alive. A sense of achievement. Yeah, it was very inspiring. Honestly, David, I know that you exercise an hour every day in the morning. And I was very inspired. I was like, if David can do an hour, I can do a few minutes. So thank you. For your fully alive exercising that gives me a little bit of encouragement. Katie says, I usually write poems or nonfiction essays, Ooh. real life stories. Oh, I'd love to read some of those. Yeah, stories. Katie, if you're willing to share, we'd love to see it. Yeah. So Rasmus, are you still on or I think are you have you left us? Rasmus, what are you gonna do to be fully alive today if you're still with us? He may have departed. He may have departed, yeah. Well, we're, we're coming right up on the one hour mark, and we don't want to take too much of your time, but thank you so much. Yes. Um, any, any comments you would have for us to make this better, please leave them, or you can just message us message straight, us up. straight yep. up. But uh, you, are, you are a big help to us, and we want to be a big help to you. This is not just us leading. We are not teachers and your student. We are all moving towards being fully alive together. And we want to thank you for your help. Rasmus is going to light the stove. You're still with us. Awesome. Yeah, God bless you. Um, yep. And may the God of peace fill your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus so that you can overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's my blessing on you today as we finish up. Yep. So we have one minute before I shut down. If there's anything else you want to type in to be part of this historic launch of the the uh, pioneer webinar. webinar. The pioneer, the thank beginning. you guys for being our first fruits. Put it in and there. thank you especially Rasmus and David and Katie and Mark for joining us. So I'm going to give just a little more space for anything else that needs to be written, and we have. We have one minute and 25 seconds before I shut off because that's a one hour mark. Okay. Sounds like a great idea. Thank you all for joining us. It has been fun. It it's has been the beginning. learning. And uh, hopefully this is going to grow to become much more uh, of a connection <laughs> piece for you and for others. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your comments, your responses, and for being here with us. We are loving life. And we're seeing good days. God bless you. Live fully alive. Thanks. Keep living with courageous imagination for sure. Yes. Amen. The Thank whole you. year and beyond. God bless you all. Thank and you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.
I'm waiting 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>